Hello guys and welcome back. Today I am in my bedroom and I decided to get ready. I brought all the makeup that I want to use right here and it's going to be pretty relaxed. I'm using my vlogging camera. There's nothing fancy about this. It's just going to be a sit down on the bed and get my makeup done. And this year I kind of want to do more of these, more relaxed, laid back not in the studio we're only using natural light so hopefully you guys will enjoy this i slicked my hair back because it is so dirty uh so hopefully you can't see that and that's it let's get started starting off with primer i tested out the elf power group primer four percent niacinamide and i love it um i kind of want this year to just test a little bit more affordable makeup and I think the drugstore is doing a much better job when it comes to makeup even packaging so I thought why not try at least the products that a lot of people seem to like this has been really nice because it definitely leaves a little bit of stickiness but I do think it makes such a big difference under foundation it makes my makeup last so so long so that's been a good discovery and under my eyes i'm using my Col Col colleen colleen rothschild this is an illuminating tinted eye cream and i literally use that much that's it for both of my eyes i hope it's not too dark in here i didn't even bring one light to try to brighten up the face I like this one because it does give some luminosity to the skin and moisturizing. And why not? I'm also taking my Hollywood Flawless from um, Charlotte Tilbury. I couldn't think about it. I'm just putting it everywhere. I actually, all, all I have right now is the camera viewfinder. So <laughs> I need to find a mirror. This better turn out. I really want this to work, this setup because I love the more laid back videos and in natural light, I think it would, I don't know, it's a, it's a cool vibe that I usually enjoy uh, seeing that in videos. For foundations, I have here two foundations, if I can find them. Okay, so one of them is the Chantecai Skin Tint, Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer, and I love this one, it's amazing. But I have another one here, this is the three drop weightless serum foundation from Rich ritual ritual de fil i have no idea um but this is more of a pro artist i think brand overall and i just wanted to try this i saw this one in our makeup pro store and i've been meaning to try it now they didn't have the color that i wanted in stock so i got the shade 140 and i think it's a little deep for me but i'm wearing a high neck i think we could blend it in so let's just try this um it's definitely deeper and i'm gonna use my fingers it's very like uh serum-y and light so i'm gonna get a mirror in just a second Ooh, is it gonna be so dark it's gonna be great for summertime found a mirror okay i brought my brushes in my merit little bag and i'm taking my number seven from it cosmetics and blending this in oh wow this is definitely darker but i've tried this once before and it is so beautiful it really looked flawless on the skin a very skin like good coverage i felt like it was one of those products that you can build up and have a lot more coverage or uh, just wear it sheer am i too low i put a pillow under my butt so i should be taller okay so this is how it looks like it has a beautiful finish uh, when i wore it last time it was pretty much flawless throughout the day so very long lasting very pretty okay for concealer i brought my tower 28 concealers my favorite i think the um, ie color is probably the better one for me it has a little bit of peach in it 
I'm gonna put this everywhere. After I'm done, I'm getting a coffee and I made some pretty good cake the other day, like a tres leches cake and I still have a little bit. So black coffee with that for like an afternoon snack. I'm so excited. Um, it is, what time is it? One o'clock? two o'clock i do have places to be like tonight so i wanted to get ready i was hoping i could get ready in the morning because i've already been to the mall i've already been out for lunch with andrew and the baby um and so i was hoping i would have makeup on but i didn't have time because i started reading and then just got distracted andrew got me a new kindle for christmas and uh, my old one was, I want to say, 11 years old. I didn't even know that I needed a new one until I got the new one. And the writing is so much crisper. The screen is bigger, yet just it's much lighter. So I enjoy reading off of that so much more. It's faster. Just anyway, I'm very, very glad I have that. So it makes me read even more as if, you know. I wasn't reading too much already. I was looking into audiobooks. However, the Audible, it's like you get one free book a month. I go through one book a day or two days, mostly if it's Audible. Like I don't I was like that's not helping me much at all. I want unlimited. So I don't know if you guys have any um information about some audible books i our local library does have audible books but they're all borrowed so i have to wait like i'm like 29th in line or you know i have to wait quite a long time so i will get on those that list but i thought maybe is there a subscription that i could pay to do audibles also I have been listening to a few audibles and the reader, no, I couldn't do it. Like I know some readers are incredible and just they're more relaxing and they are just calmer. And then some of them, their voices were so like, we call them pizzigaita, like it, they're just so high and sharp and almost like it was stressed me out just listening to them. Um, I was just looking at like samples of audiobooks and so I know it's like a hit or miss who's reading it but then there were some that I was like I could fall asleep just listening to her or him Modus, mostly the British ones um, yeah so all recommendations are welcome I would love to know if you're into books like me what do you do because you know spending six hours a day reading it is not very practical with kids i think this skin looks really really good right now okay moving on let's see what else i brought okay so for bronzers i put these two in here the makeup by mario and then the bronzer from Shantekai. i really like this one i've been using the shade medium from the makeup by mario all summer long so i'm back to my fair shade which is light medium which to be honest i like this shade better just overall so when i'm going to repurchase it i'm going to pick this shade up i guess the shade medium when i was very tan in the summer it was it was nice actually but right now it just seems a little bit too warm for me and i think this just looks a little bit better look what a beautiful product I'm gonna leave the bronzer here. I will powder and then maybe add a little bit of the Chantecaille on top if I feel like it, but I, I kind of love the way it looks right now. I did bring my KJH brand highlighter, but I think I'm just gonna use my new Dior highlighter that I've been really into. Let's take a little bit of the Givenchy powder. Still my favorite. I've been kind of more into powders lately. It's almost like I don't not powder. I always powder now and I'm learning to enjoy them more and more because um, they can really, really just help your whole face. 
and I do add very little. Like I swished my little puff in the powder and then I tapped it off and only then do I go here and just powder a little bit on the T-zone, mostly to kind of perfect the skin. Of course, take a little bit of that glowiness, but it just blurs the skin a lot more. I also brought another powder, but I'll do that after at the end. It's a finishing powder. For the blush, I am taking the new Chanel Le Beige blush. This is in Rose Polaire, and that is the color right there. Look how pretty that is. And I have been using this almost daily since I purchased it. I'm really, really liking it. I know when I reviewed this, it was there was good and bad about it. And there's still, I guess it's very expensive and you need to build up the product. But I think that's what makes me love it even more because it's kind of a natural blush, but it has a shift in it and you have to build it up. I just love the way it looks on the skin. I think it's a very blurring. You can't really mess this up. So pretty. I feel like the light is more coming from this way. So I'm gonna try to show you on this side. Can you see that shift? So pretty. Yeah, it definitely makes my skin look more blurred. And I just have to build this up. That's like, I guess, the only negative that I could find about this blush. Um, and longevity, it, it lasted on me really well. Um, even though it's like kind of sheer, I guess. But putting layer after layer, it makes the blush last longer and longer. So I'm really happy with this release. And you know, I don't purchase everything from Chanel. So whenever I do, I want it to be special. I wanted the formula to be just a little bit more unique. And I really do think that they did something unique with this. It's so blurring, so perfecting. It's not too much blush. blush. It's not too in your face. I think it's beautiful. Um, I still need to pick up the other shades because I like the formula so much. I do want their deeper shade and their orangey shade maybe maybe i don't know but i really like the deeper shade um i need to pick that up i was worried that maybe it would hard pan but i haven't had any issues with that and then talking about my highlighter i've shown this in i think one video and like one of instagram stories and this is the dior highlighter this is in the Forever Contour Luminizer, the color 05 Rosewood Glow. Now, I don't know if you can tell that the color is definitely deeper. It's not a color that I would naturally gravitate towards as a highlighter, but it's so, so beautiful. So watch this. I kind of am freely applying it everywhere. I will literally put it everywhere. Buff it into the skin, and then I can always go back and intensify right on my cheekbones. Gosh, that mirror is so dirty. Look at that. I always um, tap my brushes just for excess here. Anyway, oh, I'm just loving this. Just look at that finish. So, so pretty. I have not found this color at Sephora. I only found it at Nordstrom, Dillard's. Um, so they carry these col this color. Again, Sephora, I think it goes to the 04 shade. I haven't seen this shade there. So correct me if I'm wrong though. You know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring a setting spray. Oh, and I really want a setting spray. I may go get it. I'm back. I got here two setting sprays. I almost always use two setting sprays on my day-to-day. -day. One is almost like a moisturizing, illuminating one, and I kind of focus it on the outside. And then I'll put a long-wearing setting spray on kind of all over the face. Now, this is in the Ilia, no, Lila B packaging, but it's not. It's the Milk Makeup Poreless Mattifying Setting Spray, something like that, but that packaging, 
absolutely sucks. The atomizer, it literally just sprays so harshly on the skin. So I haven't used that because I've been hitting the atomizer, but I love the product. So I finished the Lila Bee and just put everything in here. So much better. So I'm going to go ahead and use my iconic London Prep Set Glow. It has like, see that kind of soft shimmer all throughout. And this definitely gives you like a look at that, like a luminosity to the skin. And right after, I'll just take this one and put it all over. This is the, again, milk makeup one. I forgot to do my brows, but um, that's okay. It's literally so fast. I usually use the Refi product. This is in the shade medium brown, and it's that weird ball applicator. It kind of looks like that. Did it focus? Okay. You know, I don't think this product is for everybody. I personally don't need a lot. What do I have there that's black? Uh, a lot of definition to the brows, but this product is great for somebody like me that, you know, I just need to fill in maybe a little bit here and there, and it's very long lasting. When I go to wash my face at night, I can tell if I've been wearing this or a different one because it's really like hard, hard. My brows are like in place all day. So, you know, it's, I like it, but I don't think it's for everybody. Kind of feel like you either have bushy brows and you can use something like that, or uh, you just need something a little bit more precise. And then I'm taking just a little bit of a brow pencil. This is from Fluoresces. I really like the pencil. Um, and I'm just filling in kind of just up here. This brow tends to go straighter and this brow is more arched and like higher. I don't know if I care enough to kind of fix it, but since I have this here, I may just try to raise this one up a little bit. Brows really are one of the area of makeup that on me, I, I don't worry about. I don't care if they're even, if they're not, if they're a little wonky, that's okay with me. I kind of want to do my lips before I do my eyes. Okay, so I'm obsessed with the new Candy Glaze. I don't think this is new actually. It's new to me. The Candy Glaze in O2. Now I've been having these YSL products for a while, but didn't they reformulate this or I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with these, but this specific color and formula is new to me. And I've been pairing it with actually any lip liner, but today I'm going to use the Chanel in 162. It's, I've actually swapped this in a different video. I did mention that it was dry and kind of dragging and it was the, the lip liner was defective. They swapped it for me and this is perfect. So I'm just going to add a little bit and then go and buff that in. So that's the lip liner. Again, I use my fingers to just smush it all around. And then I'm gonna take my candy glaze and this is where the magic happens. It's so juicy. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. It's so juicy and good. And to be honest, I've been wearing this by itself even with no makeup, I still think it just, because it's so glossy, it defines the lips with the glossiness. Mm, I think it's really something unique and I didn't understand the hype about them until I tried it. This is in O2, by the way. For the eyes, I'm gonna do a one and done kind of shadow and I have here more Dior products. And these are their single shadows and I have two colors, which is, Poncho and Mitsa. Now, Mitsa is like the more popular one. It's kind of like a taupey, 
more sparkly color and then poncho is more of a darker almost chocolatey color uh, a little bit of cool tone in it let me swatch both of them now these are such beautiful formulas i've never tried them and i don't know why because i i've known about the mitza color for quite some time and i don't know i just like didn't want to spend the money but like look at those two shades i've worn this all over the lid before um was it in the video or a story and i've got so many questions oh a reel on instagram and i had a lot of questions about that and that's mitza which i think it's a, their, their more popular one so i think i'm just gonna put mitza maybe on just all over i don't want much to the eye let's zoom you in a little bit so you can see up close so all i do is i take my finger and go straight on and that's it uh, it's such a beautiful finish formula this color really is special and unique i will take a brush and blend that out i'm just taking a fluffy brush right here and fading that out and like that's it how pretty is that then the same thing on this side and then blending this out taking my pinky finger and smudging this on the lower lash line as well it's just such a good every day shade okay can you tell just how pretty that is so good i was thinking maybe to use a liner i have been so into eyeliners like just a different color eyeliners but i kind of like this the way it is so i'm gonna skip that put mascara on and then show you the finished look oh actually before i do that let's take a little bit of this powder this is the guerlain powder and i'm taking this smooth buffer from sonia g the one that my son cut yes i love him that much that i didn't get too upset <laughs> and i'm just putting my brush all through there i will take some of it off and then i will literally just buff buff this powder in and it just gives a filter effect it, it really is a stunning powder but it needs to be used the proper way you know it's I wouldn't say it's good for setting. It's truly a finishing kind of glowy powder. Like it's not a matte. It just has such a beautiful effect on the skin. It's like the sparkles on top of a cake or the sprinkles or the cherry on top. Oh gosh, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> um, but I just think it makes the whole face look airbrushed and beautiful i'll go even over on my brows okay now i'm gonna put mascara and i'll be right back and show you the finished look of course i forgot to turn on my mic when i was recording the eyeshadow look but i turned it back on so hopefully it won't be awful but this is the makeup look that's mu in this is the eyeshadow I think it's so pretty, kind of smoky, but still every day. I think it's really pretty, and I just love how kind of glowy and juicy the skin looks like. And that's it, my friends. That is the finished look. I really enjoyed recording here. I just feel a little bit more relaxed. I made a mess. I put have mascara all over my shirt, and this is not a shirt that you can easily uh clean its wool so uh that's gonna be fun i'm probably just literally gonna like pick off the mascara anyway so there's been some things that you know i need to get used to not recording in the studio but just i would love to your thoughts if you enjoy a few here and there videos that are just a little bit more relaxed um and yeah i just used my vlogging camera which is not as professional but i kind of feel like hopefully it'll make it feel a little bit more chill and i'm so excited to go get a coffee right now and some cake uh, the luca sleeping upstairs andrew went to get the kids from school 
and I'm gonna have a little bit of quiet time. I need to actually make some crepes for tonight. We're meeting with a bunch of different couples and everybody's bringing something and I thought I'm just gonna bring some crepes. I grew up with crepes. I can make them, whip those within 20 minutes. I'll have like a hundred stack of them. I use like three different um, pans so it cooks really fast. All right, I am blabbering away, but I'm gonna leave this here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Happy New Year. This is the first, I guess, makeup that I'm doing for New Year on camera. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.